This is Transformers Generations Cliff Jumper. The figure is part of Wave 5, I believe, of the Generations line. And um, yeah, for those of you in Manila, I was able to pick this one up at Our Toys in Green Hills. So if you're looking for hard to find uh, Transformers, you might want to go ahead and check out Our Toys at the second level of V Mall in Green Hills. So. Uh, the figure is a redeco of the Cybertronian Bumblebee, which was part of Wave 1 of the Generations line. And um, both, both characters, I believe, I don't play the game, but I believe both characters do appear in the War for Cybertron game. Uh, the figure is, uh, except for the head, is an exact uh, repaint of the Cybertronian Bumblebee. This big ass gun right here is is courtesy of just me it's a um, one of those and I have a box full of weapons discarded from other previous toys uh, this one was from a knockoff Optimus Prime or something a knockoff movie one Optimus Prime I got a couple years back and I didn't I don't know, I didn't really have any use for this weapon so I stored it and uh, I was looking for a big gun that would fit this figure and it, it, this was the only one I had uh, but it, it really does not come with this weapon it's just that cliff jumper always had a big gun in G1 and uh, I figured you know might as well give him one so maybe just for display purposes I'd, I'd keep him with this one but really um, cliff jumper just comes with these thing with with the same gun as uh, bumblebee had which stores here neatly at the back or an, under the uh, the roof or the hood or no it's under the boot actually um, let me see if I can yeah right there it's a small pistol um, much much like the same gun that Bumblebee had um, it's okay it's just repainted so there. Uh, the real big difference with this figure is really the head. Um, let me see if we can focus on that. Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. It's it's a brand new head sculpt, really uh, akin to how Cliff Jumper looked like in G1. I'm, I'm very impressed, very pleased that they actually. Uh, remolded the head to make it look like the semblance of Cliff Jumper. He's also got these uh, ratcheting uh, energy blades, just like the Cybertron and Bumblebee had. So it's pretty cool. Um, uh, let me just see if I can stand him up properly. Uh, he's got an Autobot symbol right there. And for some reason, the Legs, the leg joints on this uh, particular figure is, is tighter than the Bumblebee figure that I had. If you if you remember in my review of Cybertron and Bumblebee, the legs just keep on, you know, hinging outward, and, and it, we I could not get get him into any uh, in, into a, a lot of dynamic poses. But this one, this one seems to to hold much better. I don't know if if my Bumblebee figure just had a quality issue, but um, I'm led to believe that they sort of fixed the kinks of the first uh, of the kinks of the mold uh, from the first release of the mold, which was Bumblebee, and this one's a lot tighter. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section uh, what, uh, how your figure is. So anyway, here it is. Here's the packaging. Um, it says Cliff Jumper. It doesn't say Cybertron and Cliff Jumper or anything like that. It just says Cliff Jumper. It says Generations. Okay. So that's that. Let me see if I do that for you. Um, okay. So, very nice. I like the colors. Uh, if you're wondering what the color, the plastic is, it's very much like um, the Universe Sideswipe or the uh, Reveal the Shield um, Wind Charger. Uh, it, this one is, albeit a little bit darker, but I'm pretty sure that the type of metallic paint they used on it is very similar. It's sort of like a flake 
type of metallic red. This one is a lot deeper than this one. This one's a lot brighter. Uh, but I'm very glad they did that instead of using the dull, uh, a dull paint scheme like uh, or just molded plastic, just like what they, what they did with Revenge of the Fallen. Um, swerve, uh, which was really annoying. But it, it was still fine. So very nice, very good quality of paint apps. Even the yellow, the, the choice colors, uh, the, the, the hue that they used for yel the yellow on this one is really very interesting, very nice, as you can see. And he's got some silver highlights. So, transform him. You want to get rid of the gun. Go ahead and fold up the energy blades, just like that. Okay. You want to go ahead and pop out, excuse me, you want to go ahead and pop out the, uh, the back. Uh, Untab that top part of the hood of the roof, and okay, you form the roof and the back of the car. Okay, you go ahead. Oh, okay, bit rusty in my reviews. Okay, um, go ahead and uh, just position the hips a little bit like that in a straddle stance. Go ahead and open up this bit right here. Okay, fold it close like that, and just fold it this way, something like that. Uh, go ahead and uh, just slide out the wheel, collapse the uh, leg, same thing on the other side. Okay, come on. Okay, it should, there you go, it should tab into place. Go ahead and untab the waist. Um, okay, and go ahead and flip, rotate the the head down. Oh, come on! What the hell? Oh man! It was fine during practice. I don't understand why this thing doesn't want to. Okay, this thing is just busy. Okay, there we go. You gotta fold it down a little bit and then you can swivel it down. Okay, um, the arms, okay, they're gonna go ahead and, f you're gonna, they're gonna swivel on back just like that. Rotate the biceps. Um, you know, go ahead and tab this peg onto that peg hole right there. That. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Like that. And then you go ahead and go ahead and position. Position the uh, headlight. Oh, you can go ahead and clip it on. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's transform the lower half of the body. A lot of people find this mode very difficult to transform. I think you just need a little bit of patience and, you know, and some tenacity to it. So just Fold up the roof, and then you're going to peg the the feet onto those peg holes right there. I don't know if you can see it. See right there. Same thing here. And just go ahead and tab everything in. Come on. Hmm? Final check. Okay. All right. And there is Cliff Jumper or War for Cybertron Cliff Jumper or Cybertron and Cliff Jumper, however you want to call him, in his uh, Cybertron and Speedster alt mode. 
very, very cool looking one. This is really the part of the, uh, this is the mode that really sold me with this figure. Um, the robot mode was okay, but this really cute little um, alt mode was what really sold me into getting this mode, this particular mode. Uh, the uh, weapon stores neatly over here, just like Bumblebee. Um, so it was very cool. It, it's a cute little figure. Um, if you missed out on Bumblebee and you're really interested in this mold, you might want to get this one, but I doubt it. I mean, Bumblebee's been a peg warmer uh, ever since it was released, especially here in Manila. Uh, but uh, And a lot of people were just really waiting for Cliff Jumper. So very nice, very cool looking. Um, alt mode. Here he is again with Bumblebee. Um, both are really nice. I'm... You know, it's very hard to recommend one over the other. It will really depend on your preference on which character you like better. Uh, but um, now that I'm looking at them, I'm really beginning to like this one over this one. And if you still have no idea, no clue at all as to the size of these uh, figures in alt mode, they're really a little bit petite, but they're wide uh, in the sense that they're wider than regular deluxe class, but much shorter. All right, so there you have it. Transformers Generations uh, Cliff Jumper. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful in making uh, in helping you make decisions a decision on this particular figure. Thanks for watching.